All right, everybody. Welcome. I am trying really hard to get to 1,000 subs. That's definitely like my next goal um, with all of this. So there's a lot of ways that you can engage with the channel and get notified as to when new videos are coming up. Some of those ways are Facebook and Twitter and also Discord. And then if you want to donate because you like the content and want to keep seeing more, there's also PayPal. But that's kind of the idea of getting to a thousand subs. Um, but I just want to thank everybody for watching. And if you are really enjoying this content, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and that's pretty much it. So let's get on to today's video. Welcome back to Silent Hill 3. So we just talked to Vincent for the first time, and he seems just as crazy as everybody else. Looks like we got a lot of health stuff in here. That's cool. There's a junior high school chemistry book here. When you pour diluted hydrogen peroxide into onto manganese dioxide, oxygen is produced. Although oxygen will not burn on its own, it will help other things to burn. Oxygen is also formed when the disinfectant oxidol is poured onto grated vegetables or liver. Hmm. Interesting. So now we unlock the way back into this hallway. Alright. Oh. Oh, come on. Get off. Oh, I got the Oxidol. Okay. Really? Alright, I think I need to... I don't think I can hit it. I think I just need to run because there's other... other stuff coming at me now. Does that say emergency staircase? Bet you I won't be able to go in. Locked. Ow. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, come on. Alright, so... I bet you I can't use the elevator, so I bet you I missed something. Don't know what kind of plant this is, but it's withering away, poor thing. Mm. It said it can help stuff burn. I don't think I'll go in this room, that weird guy's in there. But then where am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to go back where I came from? There's that plant right there, and it said something about, like, plant matter. Oh. Well, I can't do anything with that. I got handgun bullets. The mummy-like thing in the wheelchair is just a doll. It's a doll in the wheelchair. I have a bad feeling about it. 
Yeah, it's not connected to anything. What the heck? That's disturbing. Alright, well... Dying. I can tell because my controller started vibrating. Alright, now that they're dead. Oh, the elevators work now. Hmm. Oh. That's one we couldn't go to before. Yeah, it's completely like reset itself. So now we can use the elevator to get around. Bolton board's fallen down here. There's nothing useful written on it. Oh, that's wonderful floors just kind of like falling through. Alright, so that's locked, which means there's a key somewhere. That's locked, which means there's a key somewhere. Alright, so maybe we weren't supposed to go to the fourth floor. Um, what floor were we on? We were on the second floor, I think? Let's try the first floor. Let's just start from the bottom, work our way up. I cannot see. Oh, there's... Whatever the heck that is. Books lying here. Once upon a time, there was a monster living in the gates of a village. It was very scary and a very bad monster. It would catch people and crunch them up with its big teeth. Villagers were afraid of the monster. No one would dare approach the gates. Everyone was stuck inside the village. When the king heard about this, he summoned his knights. The knights eagerly rode out to defeat the monster. Ha, take that. Their swords slashed and their spears flashed, but the monster wouldn't die. The monster tossed the king into its mouth one by one, horses and all. What was the king to do? He fretted and fussed and paced the floor, but couldn't think of no solution. Soon after, the village priestess came to the castle. She was a very kind, good person. The king asked her to defeat the monster right in the gates. The book's torn. The rest is missing. I remember reading this a long time ago. I think I borrowed it from someone. Don't remember how it ended, though. Ugh, didn't I read the story through to the end? So it's something to do with that. So maybe I have to get some kind of fire. Hey, at least we got some doors that'll open. Oh, we got one of these. I need the... It doesn't tell me how much ammo I have. 
Oh, it's in here. 22 and 34. Dies. All right. See, that uses the least amount of ammo. For some reason, the only thing in this fridge is liver. I hope it's not rotten. Ooh, okay. So the oxidol can keep things, can produce oxygen to keep things burning if it's added to liver. Now, I probably just need to find a way to start the fire. It's locked. Um, which is maybe on another floor. Been on the first floor and the second floor. So let's check out the third floor. Okay, that button doesn't work. Fifth floor then? Isn't this where the gallery was? Oh yeah, because the thing about the fire. Okay. There's a caption under the picture, flame purifies all. By these remains may a person find the road to paradise. I've seen this picture before. No wait, I've never seen it, but I know it somehow. And there's a bucket. This is going to produce oxygen, according to that textbook, anyway. Okay. So... So that's how the person got rid of the monster, but then picture. Okay, so it's telling me where the picture is. Can you go through the door, please? I can't 
go in there. Cool. A couple handgun bullets. Matchbook. Should I combine all three things into the bucket? Picture would burn, sure, but match goes out too quickly. Better stand back. There's a oh stairway. What might this be? The rest of the fairy tale I read earlier. Oh, the priestess accepted the king's request and went to the village gates. But when she saw the monster, she tried to convince it with words instead of killing it. Shut up, you. I'm going to eat you up. The monster didn't listen to a word the priestess said, but she kept trying to convince the monster to give up. It's wrong to eat people, you know. The monster grew very angry at this and attacked her, killing her with a single mighty blow. Doesn't seem like the end. Unlocked. Where does that go? Okay. Nope. Get. He's starting to door hit boxes. Get up. That's my health. Come on. Alright. Handgun bullets and first aid kit. That's good. Now when I come out of here, I want to go straight and first door that I need to check is on the right. Should be a couple more doors on the right, maybe? No? Okay. Straight ahead, then. It's unlocked, but that just leads back into the room. All the way down to the end of the hallway. Okay. It's a silver coin. The lamp shining on some old silver coins I've never seen before. Got one earlier. It shouldn't really take any more. Okay. Oh. Plain old vending machine. This one's selling canned drinks. Come to think of it, I'm kind of thirsty. I feel weird drinking anything sold in a place like this, though. But I'm going to anyway, I guess. Oh, it's empty. It 
Is there a key in there? Of course there's a key in there. Ah. Got a life insurance key. There's something written on the wall. Thus one's life turns to riches. What was a bag of silver coins is now the number in a book. Yet fate hath no price. Ah, but do people know this? So it's probably one of those rooms that was just locked on the other floor. What floor was that? Was it five? Was it the first floor? I think it's probably the first floor. Yes, it is the first floor, because that had life insurance written on it. So I gotta go all the way back to the first floor. Should I go through here? life insurance key. All right. Now we got more of those things running around, it seems. These doors are all locked, so it'll be the other direction. Get up. Down the hallway. End of the fairy tale. Here we go. The king and his people shed tears at the death of the kind priestess. God took pity upon them, and granting their wishes, healed the priestess. The priestess opened her eyes just as she had done every morning of her life. She went once more to the monster's lair. Fool, you wish to die again? No, this time it's your turn. The priestess had come to defeat the monster once and for all. As the priestess was very, very kind, she felt sad about this task, but it had to be done. Swords and spears won't work. Arrows and bullets will just bounce off. You can't kill me. The monster laughed, but the priestess used neither sword nor spear. She chanted but a single spell. Tu fui ego eris. Do you know what happened then? The monster let out a huge cry and then died and vanished. Thus the villagers were able to use their gates once more. Everyone lavished their gratitude upon the priestess, and they all lived happily ever after. So now I know the spell. I just need to go... Tu fui ego eris. Weird writing. <gasps> what was that? It's getting mad. So there are a couple more doors to my left. Oh. Now the monsters are gone. So now I probably just go straight to the monster. Oh, I said the words and now the monster's gone. And I can go out the gates. And now everything's normal again. I don't have a map of this area. Oh, I'm outside. Am I in Silent Hill now? I must be. I don't have anything else to do in this building. I have to get home. Okay. Where is home? The path is blocked. Here we go. Little pathway. <sighs> okay, can't 
can't do anything with that. Daisy Villa Apartment. Okay. The last one was kind of short, so I'm going to go a little bit longer on this one. Dust shoot, nothing to worry about. It's kind of like the apartments from the... That's not my place. Oh, so this is like actually her apartment building. That's not my place. That's not my place. That's not my place. Where's your apartment? Do I have an apartment number? Oh, I do have a key. It's my front door key. Apartment 102. Okay. I don't need the elevator. My apartment is number 102 on the ground floor. Is it? This is my place. Why should I leave the apartment? Oh. That's the way out. Oh, I guess this is it. Though I couldn't really see the number. Because of the lighting. Oh, I'm home. That's interesting. Never done that in a Silent Hill game. Dad, I'm home. But that's all the next one is. <laughs> Listen, something really crazy is going on. I think we should... Dad? Uh-oh. Harry, no. Dad? Harry, no. That's the character from the first game. So, something happened to Harry. I'm starting to put together, like, what the twists are. I haven't played this... I don't, I've never played this game all the way through. My dad used to play it, like, all the time and played through it multiple times. But I never finished it. So that's Harry from the first game. All right, starting to notice the trail. Did you do this? You're late. Uh -oh. Why? Why? Revenge for 17 years ago. Mm. If not for him, our dream would have come true. And then he took you away from us. I'll get you for this! There is another reason. To fill your heart with hatred. Mm. It must be this way. To remember me and your true self as well. You will birth a god and build an eternal paradise. That's weird. Yep. Take her out. Shoot her in the face. Shoot her in the face. He's the one who killed your father. I merely gave the order. Oh. So. What will you do? Shoot you in the face and then kill him. I'll be waiting where all begins. Okay. In the town of Silent Hill. Boss fight. Um, probably need. Yeah, this will probably be the best bet. Oh, did he block it? Blocked it. Get up. Okay, I'm pretty hurt. 
I should have a ton of, yeah, I have a ton of healing stuff. There's gotta be like a... How? How I do? drinks. I think I have to hit him from behind because when he's running away from me. Oh. There we go. were better. Oh, come on. That's all for the shotgun. He's dead. Who used all my ammo? <sighs> oh, the 
inspector guy. Then don't say anything. I'm fine, so just get out of here and leave me alone already. Calm down. I just Calm down? How am I supposed to do that? My father is dead. He's murdered. Get out. This is all your fault. If it were for you. I'm sorry. Then go. To make you feel better. I will. Ah. He's just trying to help. Sure, he messed up, but now he's just trying to help. Is he okay like this? What else can I do? There's no one here to give him a decent burial. To Silent Hill. Mm -hmm. What's in Silent Hill? I don't know. Do you think it's safe? We've gone through this much of the game and haven't even been to Silent Hill yet. I don't know what kind of hell is waiting for me there, but I've got no other choice. I don't care about God or paradise. If that's what she believes, then fine. But she won't get away with what she did. When I find her, I'll kill her myself. Ooh, she mad. She real mad. Revenge doesn't solve anything. Maybe not, but that's what I'm going to do. How did we get there? None of your business. I'll give you a ride. I don't need your help. Yeah, but it's too far to walk. <laughs> Besides, I'm partly responsible for this. Great voice acting. I'll bring the car around back. Come by and we'll finish saying goodbye. You know, you might die too. That's fine. Nobody's gonna cry over my grave. Dang. Alright. There's gotta be a safe point in here somewhere, right? Not the police or the church. <laughs> What's in here? Oh, is this my room? Stun gun. Stun gun battery. Okay. So that's a new weapon. I guess we just leave now. It's not my place. So he said he'd go around back. Is that... Oh, there's the save point. I was like, there's got to be a save point here somewhere. Alright, so we're going to leave this here. And then we'll continue on in the next one. So I'll see you then.